Hello everyone, this is Nick, um, with, um, another video blog. Um, I know I didn't post any this week, um, and that is because, um, I've been caught up with a lot of, um, things lately. Um, I, I am probably going to be going over to my friend's house again this weekend, I'm not sure, um, I just want to talk about a few things and get, you know, have them clear my head and hopefully, you know, I forget about the bad things. Um, the first thing I want to talk about is, you know, once again, I'm talking about my past here. When I, when I, ever since I started going to school, I got laughed at. Um, and, you know, I, I, um, the teacher, um, at my elementary school, um, the teachers there, you know, everybody there was just careless. They, they had no sympathy for me. They didn't even care, you know, if they, you know, if they saw that, you know, I was getting bullied, they wouldn't do anything. They would just leave me there. Um, I, like I said, I've, I've been bullied before at school, so, which, um, is really, you know, which you should know is really upsetting, but unfortunately, you know, some people are, I guess, are meant to be bullied, I don't know, I, I think that of myself, I think I was meant to be this way, you know, I, you know, sometimes I think, you know, I was put on this earth because I was supposed to be a person to be bullied of, and when everybody was bored or they were pissed or something, it's like I'm, I was the target or something. It, and it, it really makes me upset. Um, and one day, um, after the second time I got suspended or somewhere along that, because I got suspended at my elementary school two times for some for things I didn't do, but I'll, and I'll get to that later, but, um, my, um, my fifth grade teacher said that I was a bully, and I, you know, I just broke down when I heard those words, because, you know, from what he was saying, the way he said it and stuff, it sounded like I was a bad person, as if I didn't deserve to have any life, and it really hurt me. I, you know, I was really upset about it, and, um, you know, I, I really wanted to cry about it. Um, now, I'll tell you guys the two things that I got suspended for, the things I didn't do that I got suspended from. Um, and I, I'm, I'm very honest about this. I didn't, I didn't do this stuff. And I'm not saying I'm Mr. Innocent. I never do anything. But um, this, uh, you know, I, and sometimes, yeah, I'll admit I'll lie and I'll say it wasn't me or whatever. But this time I'm telling the truth. Um, when I was at um, my elementary school. I think it was fourth and fifth, or just fourth or fifth. Um, I was, we did rotations, you know, like as if we, you know, as if it were like middle school where we switched periods. And um, I, um, I did something, I forgot what it was, so the teacher, she told me to go sit next to her chair. Uh, while she was around her chair, you know, she was about to sit down, you know, and I was just kind of playing around with the chair. I was just touching the, the, you know, the bars on there because there's nothing to do, you know, the things that hold the, the legs. Yeah. And um, she said that she thought that I was trying to pull the, the chair out from under her, and so I got suspended from that. And I tried telling the teachers because they. I was, I got in trouble, you know, five other, t I, I was brought into this room with the teacher, victimized teacher or whatever, and there were like a few other teachers there, I forgot who, 
and my fifth, and you know, I told, I say, um, my fifth grade teacher was in there, or, and I said, um, you know, I, I tried to say, it. no, I didn't, you know, I wasn't trying to do that, and he's like, our teachers don't lie, or so I got suspended that one day. Then the second time, um, some girl, she, um, she said I was trying to call her a dick or whatever, and I got suspended for that too. And it, and the second time, I, um, and this is where I bring my dad into this, so I want to be prepared. This, this was the time where I really hated my dad because the night before I got suspended the second time, he said that he would try to talk to the teachers out of it or whatever. And one day, you know, he just dropped me off and he came in the office and they had to talk to him saying that I was going to have ISS and school suspensions, what it means for those who don't know. And, you know, he was going to leave and I told my dad, I said, well, wait, I thought you said you were going to help me out of this. You know, I said this away from all the teachers and, you know, you just like kind of laughed about it or whatever, and so I, I, I gave him the loser symbol, you know, and you know it's like you know I, I really wanted to murder him, I really did, and um, another thing I hated my dad for is we there was this day where we had an ice cream party, right? Well, unfortunately that day I was throwing up. Um, I wasn't sick. I was well. I was sick, but I didn't. I didn't have like a cold or a flu, or something. I don't think I did at least. And I, I told, um, you know, I told my dad, Dad, you know, I, I'm really sick. Seriously, you know, please, you know, don't let me go to school or whatever. And he, you know, he says this thing to me that I will never forget. I would if I could, but I can't. Even though he could have, he could. Apparently, so you now I had to suffer through the whole day of throwing up. And how did I do that without having to go home? Did my dad not want to pick me up? Well, it's not that. Um, I the I went to the you know, I went to the the nurse, and she said I wasn't sick, that I was just fine, that I was just trying to get out of school, which wasn't true. She said, "Oh, you're not sick." And, you know, even some of the teachers knew that I was, the lunch ladies knew I was going to throw you out. While I was getting my lunch, I, I was, you know, kind of about to throw up or whatever. And they're like, oh, you know what, you know what, um, are you sick? You need to go see the nurse. And I tried to tell them that, you know, she didn't believe I was sick, but they wouldn't listen, you know. They sent me to the nurse again, you know. The nurse got pissed again because she thought, that I was trying to, once again, I was just trying to get out of school when I wasn't, when I was actually sick. I admit there were a few days where I did try to get my way out of school. Cause back then I was just scared of the um, fire drills because of, you know, the alarms or whatever. I mean, now I've overcome my fear of that, but um, it's, um, I'm just, I was, uh, you know, it was a horrible day, but, you know, I thought, okay, well, this is a once and not lifetime chance or whatever, I, could, I actually have an ice cream party in my school, okay, yeah, so I'm going to have some anyways, and you know, my fifth grade here is like, aren't you sick or whatever, and I said, you know, yeah, and actually this was, yeah, this was in fourth grade, um, but, you know, at the time I was in fourth grade, but, and, one, and during the day, um, well, actually, you know what, I'm going to continue this in another video vlog, because I don't think I have enough time for it right now, so, Thank you guys for watching. I'll continue the story yeah. um, in part two. Thanks for watching.